Hi all! Today I thought we'd do an experiment to talk about stress. What is stress and how do you manage it? For this experiment, we need a regular cup, a few small cups, and a big pitcher filled with water. Our experiment begins with a regular cup, which will represent a person and his ability to handle stress. We will use the water in the pitcher to represent stress itself. Stress is a feeling that makes you unhappy or nervous. It can come from a variety of places which are different for different people. We all have different sizes of stress cups, meaning some people are better at handling stress than others. How old you are, how much patience you naturally have, and how much experience you have with stress are all things that help determine the size of your stress cup and your ability to manage those unhappy or nervous feelings. At the start of a day, ideally a person wakes up with an empty stress cup. Nothing has happened yet to make you unhappy or nervous, so presuming you have no stress left over from the day before, your sleeping has helped you to start off fresh and happy. As you go through your day, you experience many things that can fill your stress cup with water. This always happens, even if sometimes you don't realize it. Identifying the things that can cause you stress is important to helping you manage your stress. So think, what are some things that can cause you stress? Pain, like when you cut yourself or fall down, have a headache, or are hungry, will cause you stress. Pain can also be emotional, like when someone hurts your feelings by saying something mean. If someone makes a promise and then breaks it, that can cause you emotional pain and dump a lot of water into your stress cup, too. Unpleasant noises can also add water to your stress cup. Much of the time, you might not even notice how noise is affecting you. Traffic noises, the air conditioner, the washer or dryer, etc. are just there, slowly filling your stress cup. And since you deal with them every day, you don't pay much attention to this noise. Other times, a noise is so loud, like a fire truck siren, that we cover our ears but because it's just too much stress on us and can actually damage our ears. Minimizing noise helps to reduce our stress. Even wearing earplugs in a noisy environment, like on an airplane, can help you feel much better. Another type of noise isn't felt with your ears, but with your eyes. At an extreme, this would be something like staring at the sun, which would cause you significant stress. But other less noticeable visual noise includes things like a messy room, dirty dishes, or garbage in the street. Some people can tolerate this kind of visual noise better than others, just like sounds. But eventually, someone has to clean up the mess. Work, lack of time or money, fights with friends or unexpected stress, like finding someone stole your backpack, are also things that add stress to your daily cup. I'm sure you can think of many other things that create stress in your life. Naming them is an important first step towards learning how to manage them. At some point, all of these things that cause you stress fill up your cup and will eventually spill over if you don't find a way to reduce the stress. We'll talk about ways you can do this, but first, what happens when the stress spills over? When stress becomes too much for a person to manage, it typically comes out as either anger or sadness. Your stress cup just can't hold more water, and it makes a mess everywhere. You walk around mad or sad, looking for something or someone to clean up the mess. Maybe you hit something, break something, or yell at someone for a minor issue, or just break down crying out of sadness. It's messy and a negative way to clean up your stress, but it happens sometimes. If so, it's okay, but if it happens a lot, you might need help learning how to better manage your anger or sadness. Being angry or sad usually causes someone else stress, or even yourself more stress, which doesn't solve the problem at all. If you're angry or sad all the time, it's like your stress water is really hot and no one wants to touch it for fear of getting burned. If they give you some space to cool down, then they can help you clean up the mess. The time it takes to cool down and the amount of mess to clean up varies, but at some point, either you or someone else is going to have to clean up that mess. That's just the way it is. Fortunately, you don't have to get angry or sad to manage your stress. You can empty some water from your stress cup before you spill over. The easiest way to dump your stress is to do something you enjoy. Reading a book, listening to music, playing a game, or some kind of sports activity are all good ways to dump your stress. 
There is, of course, a risk of spillage when you are transferring your stress to the activity. For example, you may burn your food while cooking or lose your soccer match, but the potential for feeling good about the activity is usually worth the risk. Talking to friends or family is also a good way to dump stress. If it's a good friend who listens with love, then they are willing to accept your stress and dump it for you. Sometimes you need to dump a lot of stress into your friend's cup, other times just a little. But to be a good friend yourself, you must be willing to accept some of their stress as well and get rid of it for them. Since it wasn't your stress to begin with, it is usually a lot easier to let it go than it is for them. But some days your stress cup is already just too full to help them out. If someone tries to dump more water into your stress cup than you can handle, you overflow and maybe get angry or sad yourself. It's okay. It doesn't mean you're not still a good friend. It just means that you need to handle your own stress at the moment. If you let them know, a good friend will understand. If they don't, then you probably just need to walk away so that there isn't too much of a mess to clean up between you later. One of the best ways to get rid of stress is to get a good night's sleep. Sleep and relaxation is a very low-risk way of reducing the water in your stress cup. Watching the ocean waves, doing yoga, listening to music, or watching TV are similarly effective activities. Laughing, laughing, laughing is probably the second best way to reduce stress, so find ways to make yourself and others laugh whenever you can. Remember, all of us experience stress. We have to find ways to dump it, or we will be unhappy ourselves and make others around us unhappy. So instead of getting angry or sad when your stress cup is spilling over, search for ways to clean up the mess with a stress-dumping happy activity. And when your own stress cup is not too full, be helpful to others and absorb their stress as a way to help them feel better too. You'll be surprised at how that helps you empty your own stress cup at the same time.